Mark 15, the crucifixion chapter. Mark chapter 15 goes into the great detail of every part of the crucifixion. The pain, the suffering, the crying out upon the cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Well, I remember a number of years ago when The Passion of the Christ came out. I saw that movie. Um, I, I saw that movie, and it was a hard movie to watch. I wept through most of it. And then afterwards, somebody gave me a copy of the movie and a CD or DVD, and I, I thought, I thanked them for it, but I could never watch it again. I could never relive those the passion, the brokenness of my Jesus on the cross. Well, I'm going to ask you, like last chapter, to take some time and just read this slowly, carefully to yourself. Um, I would encourage you, even more than reading it, pray it through. Let Jesus minister to you in this text. The thing I would like to point out here on the text is, um, it says in verse 21, They pressed into service a passerby coming from the country, uh, Simon the Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to bear his cross. I've always intrigued by Simon of Cyrene. Um, Cyrene was an area in Africa. He was an African man. And they grabbed him, threw him down, and made him carry the cross because Jesus could no longer physically bear the cross. I'd like to suggest to you today that this man was never, ever, ever again the same. Once the, once the cross touched his back and the remaining blood still on the cross touched his back, I promise you, Simon of Cyrene was changed forever and ever. And no doubt he went to heaven and he was reunited with Jesus whose cross he bore up on the face of the earth. So I'm going to say to you this, that the cross makes all the difference in the world. Jesus went to his cross and you and I are called to come to our cross. Pick up your cross daily, Jesus says, and follow me. So today, I'm going to encourage you to take up your cross, die to the old man, die to self, because Jesus rose in the resurrection that you might live forever and ever. God bless you. Have a phenomenal day.